hello guys welcome to my this video and today in this react tutorial i will show you how to use the es6 syntax in your react application so guys this video will be very small video and guys es6 uh, we can use in react so guys that i will show you so in the previous video i had created two component here you can see home and about okay so guys this is very basic thing just i will open this js file here you can see i have created a function okay so all the thing i have discussed in my previous video just here this function how you can use using es6 that i will show you okay so home.js and here is the about.js for the about component okay so first of all i will go to the home and you know guys here in es6 we don't write the function keyword right here we write fat arrow function so equals to equals to an arrow like this way we write method like this way in es6 okay so that i will do here and same way in the about so i will remove the function keyword and here equals to and equals to and the arrow and i will just do save all the thing but guys here you will get one error okay so you can see error so why i'm getting the error so that's why i'm just making this video separately okay because guys here you can see when we write the filter of function so that time the syntax is perfect okay but after that i'm getting error because guys in react when we use the fat arrow function so that time this fat arrow function we need to assign inside an variable okay so when we write the variable we use const or var or let keyword okay so here i'm using const keyword and then i'm just defining fat arrow function inside this const keyword okay so same thing here i will do like this so remember guys when you will write any fat arrow function in react application so that time you have to be defined inside and const keyword right here like this okay so after that if i save here you can see the error is removed and my project is running properly how it was running in previous previously okay so this way you can use the es6 okay in react hope guys you have understand and if you like this video so please don't forget to like and if you want to get more update in react so please subscribe my channel